Light is here for you. That is the theme of today's Morning Mindset. Welcome back, my friends. We are in our Advent celebration, looking forward to Christmas. This is Advent day number 21. Today we'll be looking at John chapter 3, verses 16 through 21. And these are words spoken by Jesus himself to his disciples and to a crowd that was gathered around him as he was explaining what God was doing in the world. Before we get there, though, let me remind you that part of the Morning Mindset ministry that we offer is a merchandise shop where you can buy stickers and t-shirts and things like that. As it's the giving season, you may want to pick up something there to give to someone to enable them to express their faith more directly and more clearly in a way that others can see. You can check out everything we have available at carrygreen.com. That's C-A-R-E-Y, green like the color, dot com slash merch, M-E-R-C-H. And there should be a link in the description for this episode as well. All right, let's talk about this idea that light is here for us. John 3, 16 through 21 reads this way. For God so loved the world that he gave his only son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. For God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, but in order that the world might be saved through him. Whoever believes in him is not condemned, but whoever does not believe is condemned already, because he has not believed in the name of the only Son of God. And this is the judgment. The light has come into the world, and people loved the darkness rather than the light because their works were evil. For everyone who does wicked things hates the light and does not come to the light, lest his works should be exposed. But whoever does what is true comes to the light, so that it may be clearly seen that his works have been carried out in God. Now friends, it means a lot to me to recognize that this passage was spoken by Jesus. Jesus is speaking about himself as this light of the world that God has sent. He was the messenger. He was actually the message. He is this light who God has sent to break through the darkness. And notice the things that Jesus says about himself and about his mission in the world. He came because God loves the people of the world. That's you, friend. That is me. That is what Christmas is about. It's a reminder of God's ultimate love, sending his son to be our savior. And it says that if we believe in him, we will not perish. That means in our sin or because of our sin, be punished and cast away from God forever. But instead, because of belief in Jesus, we would have eternal life. And I love verse 17. It's not quoted enough along with John 3.16, which is the more famous of the verses. It says, God did not send Jesus into the world to condemn the world, but in order that the world might be saved through him. Friends, do you recognize that? Jesus did not come here to condemn you for your sin. He came here to save you from your sin. And verses 18 and 19 enable us to see how that salvation takes place says, whoever believes in him is not condemned. Okay, let's stop there for a moment. What does it mean to believe in him? It's not just an intellectual agreement in saying, yes, I believe Jesus came to the earth. Yes, I believe Jesus was a man who lived 2,000 years ago. It's, it's not that. It's the kind of belief you have when you believe that the chair is going to hold you up. And you place all your faith in it by sitting on it. See, it's a, it's a belief that has action behind it. And he's saying whoever believes in him in that way is not condemned by God. But whoever does not believe is condemned already because he has not believed in the name of the only Son of God. So a lot of times we have questions about, does God condemn me for this sin that I've done again or this or that? The only reason God condemns anyone is because they refuse to believe, to trust, to rely on his son, Jesus Christ. And Christmas has come to express to us that light has come into the world. And if we will turn from the darkness of our sin and the darkness of our ways and believe in Jesus Christ, that light that has come into the world will enable us 
to live the kind of life and be the kind of person God desires for us. Oh Lord Jesus, show us yourself as the light of the world this Christmas season. Build into us a a greater and greater desire to walk in the light as you are in the light. And fill us with anticipation as we move toward Christmas to be able to rest in you and trust you in a greater way that we can rest in you as the light of the world and be a light to others through your power in us. It's in your name we pray, Jesus. Amen.